I have 29 solar powered motion detector lights like these right here, uh, including uh, these were the first ones I ever bought. I believe those have 42 LEDs. Uh, this one here has 138 LEDs. Uh, I'm not sure how many LEDs this has, but it has a separate light from uh, its solar panel so you can run a little cord away from it. Anyway, these are all around my property, my outbuildings. I even have a few that are out further away. I didn't test those, but I tested all 29 of those today because it's been overcast all day. It's been snowing. They haven't had a whole lot of uh, solar charge on them. And the cold temperatures are gonna put a little extra stress on those uh, lithium batteries. Lithium batteries don't like the cold. I'm going to check all these out. That's coming up on Thrifty Plus. To give you an idea of what the day was like, I took these pictures early in the morning and it kept snowing all day long. So the accumulation just got more and more. On this picture, you can kind of see if I zoom in here, this is the solar panel for one of these lights and it is totally covered in snow. The oldest lights that I have in use are these 42 LED CZAC brand lights. I'll have direct links for all the lights that are available on Amazon in the description, including these. These have been going for over two years and under ideal circumstances, they all still work. The next solar lights I tried out are these AUTEC 120 LED lights. And they're actually brighter than some of the ones I bought later that have more LEDs. They also have a color temperature that's warmer, so they don't look quite as blue. However, there is a big disadvantage. The mode switch is on the back. So once you mount these, you're not going to be able to change the mode without unmounting them. I keep these mounted up high where I wouldn't be changing the mode anyway. I think it's pronounced Peacer. These are 140 LED lights with two mounting holes for screws. They have a flat backside, so you can also mount them well using mounting tape. My most recent Amazon order were these 138 LED Peasers. These you can mount with just a single screw or mounting tape. For under the front porch and under the carport, I'm using these Gusasil 172 solar lights with remote control. These have remote solar panels with an extension cable so that I can put the light in a location away from the solar panel. One light in this video that did not come from Amazon is this Farpoint Spotlight. I picked this up at the discount store Ollie's and I'm going to go back and see if they have any more of these because I kind of want another one or two. All the lights featured in this video except for the spotlight have three modes. The first mode is a dim light that comes on at night and just stays on. The second mode is a dim light that gets bright when motion is detected. I have all but one of these lights in mode three where it is off until it detects motion and then it comes on. In the carport, I'm using mode two, which is a dim light that gets bright when it detects motion. Now, some of these are installed on the north sides of buildings where they don't get a lot of direct sunlight anyway. And one of them that's like this had snow totally covering up the solar cell. So that's going to make things extra interesting. Let's take a look at the walkthrough. I'll put a small thumbnail icon of the type of light we're looking at in the corner as I check each light. All right, it's dark outside and it has been snowing. I'm going to see how well the motion detection, like that light right there, works in the snow here. And I can see where I'm going. I can see the snow out here. Oh, it, another one lit up. That would be this one right there. So it is lighting my way through the yard here. Oh, that one lit up on my storage building right there. 
It's lighting up all the snow over here. Got some tracks here. I think those might be rabbit. Oh, that one lit up. And that one lit up. You can see my wood pile over here. Let's go around to this other side. All right, this one is not lighting up. It must not have gotten enough light. Let's see if this one back here will. Okay, this one is lighting up pretty bright. You can see my lawnmower covered in a tarp right there. Here's an issue, and I can't really reach it. There's a solar panel right there that charges up a light that it's too dark for you to see. Maybe, maybe I can walk over here toward the house and trigger this one. Okay, that one lit up. There's a, supposed to be a light turning on right here, but it doesn't have any juice because the solar panel's covered with snow. So this one didn't have a chance to charge up. There's a light right there. Didn't get enough light to charge up today. So it is not being triggered. Let's see if this one works. That one worked. That's in front of the tool room. Let's see if this one works. Okay, that one worked. Snow's a little deeper over here. That one lit up. Nothing's been trudging through this snow, except for me. Okay. That one lit up. That's the breaker box for the garage. And this one lit up. Let's see if this one here will light up. Yep, there it goes. That's up on the side of the garage. Alright, this is on the side of the well house. And gives me a good view of this breaker box if I need it. And that's the front of the well house where the door is. So that's working. All right, the one, there's a light here that is not being triggered. I'm gonna assume that light didn't get enough solar to charge today. Man, it's dark and the snow's thick. Okay, this light on the corner, it's, it's uh, working pretty good. Oh, those are bigger tracks. Those are deer tracks, I think. All right, that light's good. Something went through here earlier. Snow, the snow is thick. My feet are sinking in. All right, that light came on. Let's see if this light comes on. That light came on. All right, that light came on. All right, there's the back of the house. Of course, that light is inside the house. This one came on again. All right, that blinking red light should be turning into a real light. There it goes. So it finally detected me. And that one's working. This is to the basement. And that one is not kicking on. It either did not get enough charge or the motion sensor is not going right now. Alright, that one kicked on. And that one, which is the most recent one that I've put up, kicked on. There's a ladder still over here. And here I am back in front of the house again. That one's working like a beauty. It looks like some of these lights just did not get enough sun to charge up or the motion sensors are not working in this weather. The next day was bright and sunny, so all the lights could recharge, and I revisited the ones that failed the night before.
I normally use setting 2 on the carport light where it is dim until it detects motion and then it gets bright and it's working right now that's bright okay it's dim and now I'm gonna move it detected me moving and now it is bright however I think I'm gonna switch over to setting 1 to prevent the uh, the carport light from going dead like it did and on the next night this light is working fine it no longer has a problem likewise this light even though it's on the north side of the house it is working fine the next day after getting plenty of daylight this light is now working fine and the light on the shop that did not work last night is working tonight again this is on the north side of the building if you enjoyed this video on thrifty plus i have another channel thrifty av you might like some of the stuff on there too stay thrifty everyone